Welcome to deep dive of Tiger tank in Company of Heroes 3. We are all familiar with this legendary tank, but do you know all of the numbers, perk, weaknesses, strengths and in the end cost efficiency of this tank when it is compared to other units in a real fight? In this deep dive we will give you answers to all of these questions, but also make a statement on how good is Tiger tank in Company of Heroes 3. If these type of videos are your cup of tea, then check my unit comparison videos as well and subscribe. Tiger tank is a late game unit for German factions. It is a heavy tank and acts like a slow rolling metal behemoth which puts fear and demands caution from enemies once its presence is revealed. It can deal with every encounter and every unit which is put in front of him. It can deal with armor targets with its high velocity main gun in a same efficiency as it would with soft infantry target with its great scatter area of attack. He can deal with all but one target in the game. In order to obtain Tiger Tank as Wehrmacht, we have to tech into the breakthrough battle group and select Tiger Tank 3 on the right side. For Deutsche Afrika Corps it is a little bit different and it is a much closer to researching King Tiger from Oberkommando West from Company of Heroes 2. Uh, there you have to unlock all of the tier buildings and research Tiger Tank from HQ in order to call it in. So it is not locked behind battle groups but rather you completing tier buildings. In both cases it is not easy to obtain Tiger Tank because it is a highly time gated and no matter do you play well or bad it will take you time until you get it. And often you might decide to tech into other units uh, during the game in order to stabilize the field. Presence of the Tiger Tank once on the field is definitely felt in the game. It is usually a final nail in the coffin either for the enemy or for you. Speaking about enemy, if you had a really stable front and even odds against allies, getting Tiger Tank will tip the odds in your favor a lot. However, if you struggled while you were trying to get Tiger Tank, it can often be overrun by allied Zerg. Uh, Germans who decide to rush for Tiger Tank and encounter difficult fight will lose more by waiting for Tiger Tank rather than filling that gap with other utility units. Uh, no matter what is the case is that Tiger will leave the mark on the field. Even if you lose, enemies will in that time remaining on the field suffer greatly against this behemoth. So speaking about the statistics and raw numbers of Tiger Tank in Company Heroes 3. So in both cases for Duck and Wehrmacht, Tiger Tank uh, has same statistics, so it has 120 HP, 300 armor, 260 damage points, around 7 seconds uh, reload and it takes a population cap of 20 men once on the field. Uh, also in both cases in order to call in the tank on the field just the calling is 800 manpower and 180 fuel. However, where we have a huge difference is between uh, the costs of basically unlocking or acquiring the ability to call in the tank. So speaking about Wehrmacht, we don't need any resources uh, to unlock the Tiger Tank, what we need are the battle group points which we need to spend uh, in our battle group tree in order to unlock the Tiger Tank. While for Duck, however, we need a bunch load of resources. So Duck uh, Tiger Tank, as we mentioned, is locked behind all of the buildings uh, which we need to construct and when we take in consideration all of the costs for all of the buildings which we need to make, that is 730 manpower and 220 fuel. However, we also need to unlock the Tiger Tank uh, tech, so we need to basically research Tiger Tank from our HQ, and that costs additional 200 manpower and 150 fuel. So when we take in consideration costs of buildings, costs of unlocking tech tree, Tiger Tank, and the costs of the Tiger Tank itself, a uh, duck tiger tank actually costs 1730 uh, manpower and 550 fuel in order to be called on the field which is a huge difference compared to Wehrmacht. Now when we have the final costs of 
Tiger Tanks from Duck and Wehrmacht, how to get them on the field. Uh, we are going to compare uh, the Tiger Tank field performance against allied tanks and then compare that through resources. So uh, let's start with US faction. So for starters, in order to unlock tanks, uh, to be able to use them on the field, the basic costs of unlocking through all of the tiers uh, we need uh, 520 manpower and 165 fuel. So this is the base uh, barracks, this is the upgrade mechanized uh, center and tank depot. So those are the three buildings which we need to construct in order to unlock tanks. Additionally, we have uh, 400 uh, manpower and 80 fuel of costs in order to get uh, all of the upgrades for our tanks. So in total, uh, the requ required resources in order to unlock tanks for US forces is 920 manpower and 245 fuels at, from the get-go in order to start uh, going. So, first tank which we compared is a Sherman tank and uh, we did this testing with all of the uh, upgrades and in order to kill Tiger tank we need three Shermans. Uh, and uh, if we take in consideration that uh, the cost of Sherman, building Sherman without uh, the base and upgrade, it is 360 manpower and 90 fuel. Uh, and if we add up the costs of building and upgrades to three Shermans which are needed to fight one Tiger, then uh, we have a cost of 2000 manpower and 515 fuel. So this is the amount of resources you need to compare to Tiger Tank. Next tank which uh, we tested were Hellcats and we needed two Hellcats. And uh, when we take again all of the consideration of building, all of the upgrades and getting two uh, Hellcats uh, on the field, the costs uh, in order to compete with the Tiger is 1560 manpower and 385 fuel. The last tank which we compared is Easy 8 and uh, for Easy 8 we don't have any uh, we don't need any building uh, upgrades uh, and uh, we don't need any uh, upgrades in regards uh, to the armor or uh, to the to the shells so, so we don't need any upgrades uh, in order to have the same performance. So one Easy 8 costs 800 manpower and 120 fuel and we needed two Easy 8s in order to fight Tiger Tank which is 100, uh, sorry, 1600 manpower and 240 fuel. So out of all of these tanks we can see that uh, Easy 8 is uh, among the easiest ones uh, to get and fight Tiger Tank. It, it's, it's competing with a Hellcat. Now we are going to switch uh, to British forces and uh, check their side of the story. So same like with the US faction, in order to unlock the ability to call in and get tanks uh, when we upgrade all of the tier buildings for the Brits, we need to spend 660 manpower and 180 fuel. Additionally, we have some upgrades which we need uh, to get and that costs 324 manpower and 30 fuel. So in total, to get tanks on the field fully upgraded for Brits, we need 984 manpower and 210 fuel. So now we are going to go uh, over tanks uh, individually and first tank on the line is Crusader and in order to deal with Tiger tank you need four Crusaders who are up which are upgraded. Base cost of one Crusader tank is 300 uh, manpower and 60 fuel and when we uh, multiply that by four and we add up the costs of building and upgrades we get the cost of 2184 manpower and 450 fuel in order to deal with one Tiger tank with Crusaders. Next in line are Matildas. We need four Matildas as well, same like with Crusaders. Uh, their base cost is 360 fuel plus nine, uh, sorry, 360 manpower plus 90 fuel. So in order to deal with Tiger tank, we need four Matilda. And when we add all up, add up all of the costs, that is 2,424 manpower and 560 fuel. 
next online is M3 Lee and we need three M3 Lees in order to deal uh, with the Tiger tank and the beast cost of M3 Lee is 360 uh, manpower and 90 fuel. However, we need to add up additional uh, cost for uh, M3 Lee in the upgrade section because in order to get M3 Lee on the field we need to spend additional 125 uh, manpower and 25 uh, fuel which we will add up so when we multiply three m3 lease base uh, value uh, plus uh, the building and upgrade costs it comes around 2189 manpower and 505 fuel so this is in regards to the base tanks and now we have calling tanks for the british forces and first is a churchill heavy tank so in order to get uh and to beat Tiger Tank with Churchill Heavy Tank, we need two of these uh, chunky boys. Uh, we don't have any costs uh, in regards uh, to the building and upgrades, and Churchill base cost is for 460 manpower and 120 fuel. Uh, when we multiply that by two, based on the amount of tanks we need to deal with Tiger Tank, then the cost is 920 manpower and 240 fuel. When we take in consideration uh, the Black Prince, which is a second calling option for the British forces for the heavy tank, this is, base ex this is actually the strongest tank in the game. And Black Prince, uh, one on one against Tiger, it will always win. And sometimes you can be left with uh, over 25% of HP, one fourth of HP. Uh, the cost of getting Black Prince is just calling cost and that is 690 manpower and 180 fuel which is the lowest amount for any tank uh, and the best calling in the game. So to round this up we don't just compare Tiger Tank to Ally Tanks which he will face on the field but also to the tanks which will be on the German side which might try to replace the presence of Tiger Tank on the field. So in both cases for Duck and Wehrmacht, so Panzer III or Panzer IV, uh, tank we need at least or in general three medium tanks in order to replace the same performance which Tiger Tank will have on the field. So let's start with Wehrmacht first. In order to unlock the tanks for Wehrmacht we need to spend 670 manpower and 195 fuels. One Panzer IV base cost is 400 manpower and 100 fuel. And since we need three of those and when we add up the costs of building and upgrades, so in order to replace Tiger Tank on the field with uh, calling the, the basic uh, Panzer IV tank which we have uh, at our disposal the the cost is 1870 manpower and 495 fuel compared to one Tiger tank which we can get. Speaking about Duck, uh, the costs uh, for getting the upgrades and uh, buildings to unlock tanks is 930 manpower and 220 fuel. We also need three Panzer III's in order to replace Tiger Tank. Base cost of Panzer III is 340 manpower and 80 fuel. And when we take and multiply that by three and add up the costs of building and upgrades in order to get the tank, uh, we are going to spend 1950 manpower and 460 fuel. So it's a similar cost of getting Panzer IV and Panzer III's on the field. So these are the numbers which are needed for Germans if we are going to compare Tiger Tank, uh, the cost of Tiger Tank of acquisition and calling against regular or conventional tanks if we are going to use them on the field. To gain most out of Tiger Tank, it must be seen as your final piece on a chessboard and not like Lone Queen on the board. This rule, to be frank, is same for any armored unit, but in case of a Tiger Tank, people often think it's a god tier unit and in and it's a one-man army, which is not true as we saw from the raw numbers from field performance. Tiger Tank has a great performance against almost all of the targets, but it needs space and time to put pressure. 
So to get most for buck, Tiger Tank should be used as a tip of a spear, making itself a focus of enemy force, giving the opportunity for the rest of the army to engage and together pick the engagement. Tiger is meaty enough that it can take a beating which should provide you and your other units enough time to deal with high threat targets and move forward. Another way Tiger Tank can be used is uh, an, as an, a harassing unit in late game against softer targets. If you have enough victory points for example or you want to defend a certain area or, or position, you need to defend the point with Tiger Tank which can be put in front almost alone to pick off the enemies at range as they are trying to approach while you are slowly retreating to preset position where you will get more support from the rest of your troops. What is different in this case to other tanks is that Tiger Tank has enough HP and does enough damage that once you have reached the defensive position he can stay in that fighting position uh, even though he engaged the enemies alone before this and he doesn't have to retreat behind the lines for repairs instantly so he can stay there and deal damage together with the rest of the army. In the end we have to give final verdict on Tiger Tank. Uh, when we take in consideration numbers, cost efficiency, performance and impact on the field, for Wehrmacht uh, is, is it worth it? It's a completely different story uh, when we compare it to Duck. Uh, Wehrmacht's Tiger Tank is not blocked behind resources but rather battle group points which you would naturally get by doing more damage and getting more troops. So you, do, you don't have to save resources in order to get Tiger Tank. While for Duck, Tiger is locked behind ungodly amount of resources to get and uh, allied meta is at the moment going in favor of uh, dealing with soft targets and by the time you get Tiger you will suffer a lot as Duck. But in general Tiger Tank is a huge performer on the field. It is just that initial time which you need to spend in order to get it and allies don't have to keep and uh, calculate their resources to wait for the late game to get a tank. They can be aggressive mid game and get some tanks and start doing a lot of damage to you. So it, it is worth it in some cases while in some it is not. It can be better to get two Panzer IVs or even one Panzer IV or two Panzer III's uh, rather than wait and save the money for Tiger Tank because in the end if you bleed a lot then Tiger Tank will not be worth it for you especially for Duck because the cost of getting Tiger Tank for Duck is huge but also the base cost of your units is also bigger than for the Wehrmacht. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers or core baseline infantry is the most expensive infantry in the game so it can be a challenging to uh, save especially manpower as duck for late game to get tiger tank. <laughs>